Hello guys and girls of the 1970s under the dome. Welcome back to Encased and playing hardball. So we are here at the roadside picnic. We had a, well not even feverish dream or anything, we just played it through in our big brain. What would happen if we, were, if we had a shootout and if that's actually worthwhile and well instead we actually <coughs> convinced the, these these gangers these bandits should just drive away and i think that's that's actually a nice solution right so let's talk here to the guy backs away a few steps at the side of the weapon in our hands ah okay uh, listen could you put this thing away please looks as if you are going to kill me no no sorry sorry just forgot to put it away Phew, never do that again, all right? Aaron Melville sighed softly, obviously relieved. With his gang problem solved, Melville is visibly more hospitable. I'm sorry for bitching at you, sweetheart. My mood hasn't been great this last couple of weeks. Would you like some coffee? Because I could... Uh... The old well... man takes off his plastic leg and wraps it on the counter. Hey, anybody want some coffee? Coffee, come on. Well, I think he's in a good mood now, huh? So, Aaron, how is it here you can't in tell general? If Aaron is coughing or laughing. Well, it's seething with life. People come and go. White wingers hanging around the swamp. One such fella came along today, walking around poking things with that scanner of his. Doesn't shake hands with me. What kind of guy is that? The old man leans close and continues in a confidential tone. I used to have a gizmo of sorts. It warmed stuff up better than any heater. And when they saw it, their eyes almost bugged out of their heads. They took it away from me. It's dangerous, they said. Well, that's very interesting. And was it really dangerous? What else? Well, sometimes bandits show up. And get pounded on the head occasionally. Not as often as I'd like, but... There it is. The old man gives you a smile of satisfaction. Hmm, okay. So, what do you think is wrong with the local cuisine? The blue grunts like a goose. Well, I cook for myself here. It's, you know, an acquired taste. Ah, oh, well, I bet it's better than you think yourself. And, well, how's life in general? The old man sighs in sadness. <sighs> what life? I'm an old man. Life my ass hmm well there are always positive things i guess so by the way there was a strange creature down in the basement of the gas station and i killed the it old man scrubs his bald spot <sighs> that'd be my stand in i think and here i reckon he'd gone and quit on me it smelled a stench from the cellar thought a rat croaked down there listening to your story he shakes his head in amazement Say it didn't even look like a person? Oh, I had a bad feeling about this place from the start. Not good at all, I'm telling you. Hmm. And by the way, I also killed a number of rats in your basement. But yeah. That was just a minor thing. Hey, sweetheart! Wait a minute, hold up. The blue claps you on the arm. Yeah, what is it? it looks a bit confused. I was just uh I was thinking, I wanted to thank you. Maybe we could go on a picnic. You like picnics, don't you? Well, that's actually a very nice idea. And, uh, well, we are also kind of tired, so actually, why not? You yeah, know, having a snack and sitting down a Aaron while. smiles. His expression is both silly and sincere. Look, there's a cliff nearby. Lovely place. I got a cook pot already there. A comfy piece of tarpaulin, too. And the logs are alive. Even got little bottles stashed away. <laughs> that sounds nice. Little grunts reaches under the counter and pulls out a bulky bag smelling of onions. The old man lays out the bag's contents on the counter. Canned pork, onions, eggs, and potatoes. He looks quite proud of his stash. Hmm. Impressive. A picnic without snacks. 
Here, I'm gonna teach you my family recipe for pulled pork. Oh. First, you have to boil the eggs, and then... Gesturing excitedly, the old man reveals the secrets of Melville family cuisine. Oh wow, what an honor, thank you. I cook it myself, but I'm sure you can do better. Uh, see the stove behind me? There you go, use it. Go ahead and cook. The blue rakes the food back into the bag and gives it to you. Okay, thanks. I'll I'll do that. Oh yeah, I got we received uh, boiled eggs, potatoes, boiled eggs. Well, I mean, we we could we could mix in some red tails, huh? For the special taste, huh? But uh, let me just bring these uh, gasoline tanks away. They weigh like 10 kilograms, and that's so much. Where are they there? Two of them, even. So. Oh, and we don't need two hammers. Got another one there. Um, yeah, I mean, otherwise I think we are fine. And I don't dare to put this uh, this personal teleporter anywhere. Because who knows, maybe the stuff is actually vanishing or something. That would be rather sad. But let's put maybe two canned tams and two of these noodle beads there yeah so just like that oh and this the key gas station key is it worth something just one oh it's am small brass key on a long loop AM is scratched on the key head. Apparently this means Aaron Melville. Ah, okay. Yeah, obviously, right? We already checked everything over there. Let's have a look here. All right. I'm just clicking take all because that's uh, the mouse uh, the way for the mouse pointer is actually uh, shorter that way. Okay, well. Uh, firstly, we wash our hands. There you go. of paper over there bridge gentis gear ah no 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 ah okay then let's go down there Now that we have six fortune. Oh nice, two med kits, okay. Scissors. Canisters, ah oh, yeah, that is fuel. More canisters, let's do the canister, a uh, pile of canisters last. Supply barrel, okay, that's empty. Fridge, noodler, beef noodles and canned ham. Boxes. Nothing found, that's sad. 
more documents. Ah yeah, some shots, that's nice. Components. That's good weapon parts. We get some experience out of this as well. Disinfectant. Potato and crayfish candy. Okay, and then here this pipe. Okay, so the rats are gone now. Which is possibly the best thing. Let's try it, what happens. Can't use it now, okay, no, then it's fine. Okay, and then there we have the canisters, but otherwise everything has been checked. Nothing in there, okay, that's sad getting up there and then we can do some cooking I would say kitchen stove pulled pork there the pulled pork Where is it? Where is the pulled pork? There. Pulled pork. No, that looks actually nice. Oh, it gives us... Oh, yeah, very nice. It gives us muscles. That's good. That is good. And then we can get up there and uh, drag the stuff to the side. That's actually a good thing. Okay. So we've got the pulled pork. Aaron Melville. Aaron stares into his screen and mutters to himself. <laughs> Where am I going to get all them palms? Filthy dog. He notices you. Ah, it's you. Well, come on, come on, speak up. What do you want? Well, I made some pulled pork with your original Squinting recipe. Squinting skeptically, Aaron takes a piece of pork and tries it. Well, what do you know? That came out pretty good. Oh, thank you. Nice compliment. His voice. There's that guy with a rock, the white by the swamp, and those two hippies. Ask them if they want to sit with us, too. If you got anybody else in mind, call them, too. More people, more fun. Yeah, sure, I'll invite the others to the picnic. I think that's very nice. That's a very nice idea, I like that. That's really nice. And we are we don't have the uh, after effects Green. of the drug use. Hey there. So, you guys interest in a little barbecue and picnic the smile on Rabindra's face waxes disgustingly sweet a picnic you say of course we'll come okay so there they go all right the big question is should we should we do this one here now but I don't think so right <laughs> no we are not we're not breaking in there right now, but we can uh, we can just check this stuff here. Supply barrel. That looks like a huge keg of beer. There. Nothing in here. How come? Oh, come on. This one has a handful of earth in there. And we don't get anything. Yeah, well, okay then. Yeah, well, so let's let's go to this guy here. I guess he's possibly sitting here again. 
Or did he actually did he actually participate in the fight? Yeah, he's there again. Did, did he participate in the fight? Hey, Travis. Hi there. So, how about a picnic? You are up for some pulled pork. Uh, hey, that was awesome. Just you're just like President Ford, the peacemaker. If you get the analogy. Uh, yeah. Well, picnic to celebrate our victory. Bradman gives us a suspicious look. A picnic, seriously, with a grumpy old fart that can't even fry an egg. Sure, why the hell not? So that's great. Well, and what is your opinion on how uh, we resolve the conflict with the bandits? Travis looks at us with respect. You have a way with words, that's for sure. Me, uh, one look of those hard cases and I'd have turned tail. No way I'd talk with them. Okay. So, and what do you think is wrong with the gas station, actually? He looks at us discontentedly. I believe I already told you there's a tree like anomaly down there and a creature wandering around. Bye -bye. Well, no more creature, buddy. Oh, actually, other oh, that's empty. So actually, this year we can. I think this year we can do right. So let's open it up, and then there's some beer and cigarettes. Okay, so also a good thing or what's that it's a good thing uh, if people don't have so much access to uh, smokes and alcohol right protection made affordable okay well that's actually a nice picture like that oh she's got uh, an Uzi and a pistol huh? yeah, that's a funny picture all right um, and then yeah the uh, the scientist over there Uh, but actually let's let's ask our driver first if you want to come that's a really nice idea with the picnic Clara Clara shuts the hood truck is ready shall we get moving Well, there's a weird old man from the gas station that invited us over for a picnic because I solved the problem with these bandits. After a moment's consideration, she agrees. Sure. I could go for a snack before the trip. Okay, I'll uh, I'll be waiting for her there. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so to speak of role playing now, um When I played this, I think with this with my silver character, uh, she said like, "Well, okay, but only half an hour. We we need to hurry or something." And with him, I I didn't even sleep, I think, or not so long at least. Yeah, there's the guy. Hello there. Hi there. I hope you are not here because you wanted to touch the Microlux. You shouldn't do that without proper equipment. Hey, you you are up to for a picnic? Make ready considers it. Yeah, why not? I'll be there. I hope to okay. See you again soon. Very nice. So that's everybody, right? I think that's everybody who's here, who's, who's hanging around. Yeah, that's really nice. I like it. I like that. I like that a lot. That's really nice. Talking to Travis. There. Melville leads us to the cliff carrying a battered old hamper with some chipped plates inside. With a cunning smile, Aaron reaches beneath the fallen tree and takes out a dusty bottle of scotch. We stoke the coals of the expiring campfire and the flames reluctantly blaze up in response. Well, let's examine the plates. The plates look awfully old as does every single man-made thing in this place there's a, f a very faded geometric pattern on the chipped rims on the back of one plate we see the contoured chronos logo and the engraved number seven, uh, 1972 okay let's look at the bottle 
Wood dust lends the bottle a noble look, but a closer look at the faded label puts everything in context. It's cheap hooch called Denny Davison, the color of which reminds us of furniture polish. Ooh, yikes. Okay, well, let's finish lighting the fire and sit down on the fallen tree. We sit down and stretch our legs toward the fire. The sun peeks lazily out from behind the clouds. Even the distant howling of the storm seems to have calmed a bit. Travis Brightman takes out a collapsible cup and sullenly hands it to Melville. Black relic dust sparkles greasily on his fingers. McReady, sitting down near the campfire, takes off his helmet with some effort. He's much younger than we imagined, 25 or less by the looks of it. Try not to touch me, please. The properties of Myro Lux are not fully understood. Don't worry about it. I brought a disposable plate. As grave as a judge, he pulls a plate, a paper plate from his backpack. Aaron mumbles and jokes with the others while setting out plates around the campfire. Hey, sweetheart, are you just gonna be sitting there or what? Get that pork out, I'm starving over here. <laughs> yeah, pulled pork. Let's serve up the pulled pork. We've got to give it to Melville's family recipe. The pulled pork looks uh, appetizing and smells delicious. Great. Smells good. Not bothering with the fork, Brightman plunges his fingers into the food. We are sitting on a log, gazing out on the hazy desert and scarfing down pork. With half an ear, we listen to what's happening around the campfire. Melville sips his whiskey and bends closer to Clara. So, tell me, is it a sin to tipple? It kinda is, yes, but it's also a simple pleasure for a man. Is it a sin if it makes one happy? You're smoking, for example. Isn't that a sin? What do, what do you Baptists think about it? Uh, I'm Catholic. Know, know the difference between Catholics and Baptists? Baptists are Protestants, while we are... Clara tosses her curls indignantly. Melville pushes a plate towards her. Oh, come on, God is all the same anyway. Eat up. You've got a long drive ahead. Or is having yourself a damn fine meal too much of a sin? Clouds of sand on the edge of the storm look like waves from this distance, an enormous tsunami of dust obscuring the horizon. Somewhere in the background, Clara is quoting the Bible in her philosophical tussle with Melville. The pork platter is nearly empty. The picnic is coming to an end. Mel will limps to the edge of the cliff and spits over the edge. Well, that was a nice little sit-down, all right. Last one back washes the dishes. <laughs> hey, don't you all jump up at once, all right. I'll wash them myself. Okay, we are putting our dirty plate aside and leave. Can you see this jellyfish? Jellyfish? Yes. It has tentacles like... Like phalluses. That is so weird. You mean... Seeing a jellyfish in the middle of the cafe doesn't bother me. Definitely on the right path. Yeah, you guys, you are, really have stuff that you talk about. So is she actually a, a blue swallow? Are you blue? You're a technician, right? Glad to meet you. Noticing our look, the girl tilts her head to regard us. Her movements are slow and hesitant. Perhaps she's hallucinating. Oh, yeah. Her neck is made of octahedral beads. They gleam with a soft opal opalescent light. Swallows' filmy eyes wander over our face as she waits for our question. Hey there, why are you actually called Swallow? The girl is about to answer, but Rabindrath interrupts. It's a totem animal. She has a tattoo as well. Swallow, just as your tattoo. Swallow nods willingly and lifts her shirt, as if it was nothing unusual. Of course, she's, she doesn't wear a bra. A crooked tattoo of a bird is perched above her left n nipple. Ah, yeah. The girl lowers her shirt. How do you like it? Hmm. Can I take a closer look? I didn't see it properly. <laughs> Rabindra Nath breaks into laughter and Swallow quickly joins them. We are followers of free love, but we are also tired from our journey. Well, are you guys afraid of the dome? Swallow shakes her head violently. Oh no, not at all. The dome is nature and I have a deep spiritual bond with nature. It won't harm me. If you love the world, it kind of loves you back. Yeah, that's actually very admirably. Uh, uh, yeah, very admirable. Yeah, this positive worldview. Very nice. The girl looks at us with sympathy. It's cool that you dig it. Yeah, so I noticed your necklace. She leans towards us slightly so we can take a closer look at her necklace. 
Nice, isn't it? I made it from some forefather stuff. I bought them from a local guy, the one that likes to sit outside the gas station. Oh yeah. That is interesting. So what do you have? Oh yeah, you have the whole range of stuff. Wasp, what's that? Immobilization or an immobilizing grenade, all right. And oh yeah, you are really out of airplane. But it's possibly a good thing, right? Come back again. Okay, so and then you. Rabindrath. Greetings. Tilts his head on one side, but says nothing, just smiles carefully. Seems he's still unsure about us. Hmm, how could he be unsure, right? Okay, well, I think you can use a mob. Yeah, there. You can definitely use a mob. And we just take the money. There. Nice chatting. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, that was a nice one. That was nice. And maybe we should actually let's, uh, but we don't need to do it down there. And um, let's get back into the diner. We are a bit tipsy. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the thing. So what, what is our situation right now? Oh, we have the muscles. Okay, excellent. Let's get up there. Let's get up on the roof. We do have the muscles. Repeat, we have the muscles. Very nice, there's a metal box, aha, uh -huh, a crowbar, okay. Oh, another crowbar, okay, well, and a med kit. Well, okay, that's it. Yeah, well. But we didn't have a crowbar yet, right? No, we have three, okay. We already had one. Oh, and by the way, uh, we can do the contraptions now, right? Yes, we can. Okay, that's great. Quick saving. Let's do this. Five experience. Okay. some useful junk and then here disarming the booby trap that he put in there for the rats More plastics okay that's actually great we get some more experience through that as well and uh, there were there were like stones right oh yeah we can lift them oh no we can't oh for that we need eight okay uh, not better not run in there. Um, how about this here? How much? How longer is is it going? Upbeat initiative. Okay. Insufficient ability score. Trap discovered. Are there? Mine clearance. There you go. Are we actually keeping it? Are we getting the mine? I think not, right? No, it's very sad. Okay. Ah, yeah. Well, let's use one of the bolts here, there. Going through. OK, 
You know, there's nothing here. But we saw something, right? Ah, yeah, there. Ah, oh, this is the... The red force, okay. There's a safe. But this way we are we are not getting too much radiation, I hope. Oh yeah, no. Oh my goodness, it is so radioactive. Let's get out of here. Oh my goodness, how much was that? 58. Oh wow. That's like really... That's really nasty. Are there are more stones there? Okay. Let's put them to the side. Ah, we can use the, the crowbar. Excellent. That's what the crowbar is good for. Let's use one of them for the uh, other pile. And gun cartridges. Well, okay. Why not? Or can we actually go up here? No, we can't. Okay. I feel that we shouldn't run through the uh, through the radioactivity. Through another bolt. There we go. Here we can just go around. That's good. A simple and indispensable tool with broad application. We can even use it to break walls, but it's more often used on heads. Okay. Well, I, th I guess we can use it. We can use one. Oh, nice. A an ordinary backpack. Well, we already have one. But I guess it's that it's a good thing. Could have saved the money. Yeah, we didn't really need it actually. But yeah, so let's drink something. Thirty-eight. Let's, let's have our kidneys do the work and our liver. Drinking lots and lots of water to get that stuff out of our system as quickly as possible. Washing our face and our hands. There we go. We're clean again before the radioactive particles could cause any damage and harm. All right then. Saving. Let's use the kitchen stuff again. Ah. We don't have enough for the pulled pork. Are we do we have the recipes here? No, we don't. Oh, that's so sad. Well, so what was it? Pulled pork. Red roast. Salt in an onion, red feet. Bold eggs. I mean, we, we can buy the stuff, right? Oh, that's a cockroach. Oh, yeah. Fried roach legs. A dubious meal created by orange wing employees. The local cockroaches can grow up to 1.5 meter long, so it's quite hearty. Red eyes, fried red eye. Bizarre dish resembling fried eggs. You could eat worse if you were hungry enough. Oh, yeah. 
Fried red tail, harsh and sinewy snack, effectively a meat flavored chewing gum. Hmm. Fried hyena meat, not much better than raw. Boiled walper eye. Ah. Uh, even after cooking, it still wants to come back up, although now slightly less so. Ah. Uh, the fried wolper gland, wolper amygdala, lightly fried, gives off a sour aftertaste, but according to some, it is good as a beer snack. Fried wolper tail, wolper's tail fried in oil, not as disgusting as raw one, but it's hard to call it a delicacy either. So here, we need canned ham, onion, boiled eggs and potatoes. Well. Oh, that's pretty nice. So, vigorous, upbeat, relieved. Oh, so actually it didn't hold too long, like the fatty food or whatever. But it's fine. So, I think we don't need to cook anything in advance. Okay, it's fine. So here, Aaron, here we will be on our way now. Red from drink and ecstatically happy. See, it was a good sitting, all right. And that friend of yours is fine. If I was a bit younger, trust me, I'd marry her in a second. <laughs> yeah, I'd just take her by the elbow and say, My lady, come with me down the aisle. Melville hiccups loudly. That's kind of sweet. That's kind of really sweet. Um, oh yeah, so it's a one-time use uh, item, the crowbar. Hmm. Well... Oh yeah, so how much is one uncooked egg actually for five? Oh, that's a really expensive dish then, the pulled pork. But it is good. It is certainly good. That was nice because, yeah, we, we lost all hunger or nearly all. So. I think we are done here. That was really nice. I like that. Um, and I'm just putting some stuff into the this personal thing. There. Personal box. Not sure about that thing, but yeah. Put one crowbar there and the backpack, although it is really not waiting too much. Yeah, and 54. So actually, we sh we shouldn't we shouldn't carry around so much stuff, right? For the packaged water. So maybe let's have one with us. Weapon parts is here. Or oh, the metal, the the dust doesn't weigh anything basically. Sixteen cans. The red force. Four can go here into our storage. Let's put ten there. Spare parts. Reagent box. Shotgun shells can go here. Because we don't have a shotgun. Same goes for the energy cells. All the red stuff. Onions. Oh, well, actually, we do have some of the ingredients. For the pulled pork. Fiber optic cable. That sounds like really good. 
like a good thing. The fixer. Let's keep one in our inventory. So then I would say that we are actually done here. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. So, and that means, well, we will we will do uh, one more episode um, before I take a break with this Let's Play. Um, but I think that this is already like kind of a very nice uh, way to end this. Um, this area here to have a barbecue together. I think that was a very nice idea. I really like that. Can we actually talk with this guy again? Yeah, I really like that. That was really nice. Um, and there. also a nice way. It was okay. nice chatting. A, a nice way. Oh, there's a supply barrel. Where, where, where did we actually? Ah, it's back there. Ah. Uh, it's because the key is in there, right? Yeah. Well, then let's take the key with us. Was there a wolf howling or something? By the way, we got work gloves. Oh, irradiated work gloves. No, these are not some special gloves that will make you cooler. These are ordinary gloves that simply emit radiation. Wear only if you don't need your hands anymore. Oh. Oh. I think we should sell them. Or rather, let's put them away. Let's put them into the storage. I wonder if, uh, if it would have been possible to trade the, these gloves uh, with the bandits. And let's hope it doesn't uh, radiate all everything in our in the stash here. And by the way, sorry, we need to close the doors, of course. There you go. Yeah, so I find I found that one very cozy, very nice. Uh, and that was really like a nice party, I guess. And after all the stress with this storm, rats, disfigured a person, I think that was pretty nice. So this is where we can end. Uh, we will. There is another episode after this one before we take the break. And as I said, because that other one has a very, very nice cliffhanger situation. Um, but I didn't play further uh, with the other character. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I want just to, uh, yeah, retain the excitement. Um, but it's pretty cool. I like the game a lot. Uh, and especially like this barbecue uh, idea here, that was really nice. And that also speaks for the development team, I think. Um, to have a social event like that, yeah, like as simple as it is, I think that was that was also very convincing for the characters, very cool and very nice. So, yeah, uh, please do share your thoughts. I would appreciate it if you click the like button as well and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So never ever miss an episode again. See you next time. Bye bye.